everything. Um, as my desires begin to manifest and unfold, I sometimes get anxiety, not anxiety, I don't know the word, but I see them starting to unfold, I get excited, and then they sort of slow down manifesting. Well, now let's talk about this because you're really going to like this. We haven't spoken this in this way before, but then we haven't come to the place that we'd already come to before you said that before either. In other words, we just laid a really good new basis to understand this question in a new way. You're going to feel it in just a moment here. So if it is true, and it is, that as a problem is coming into focus, a solution is too, then isn't it equally true that as a solution is in focus, that an equal problem is in focus too? In other words, have you ever seen a sound wave or a light wave? or any kind of vibrational wave, there's two sides to the wave, aren't there? In other words, the wave, it has an equivalent. Mm -hmm. It can be small and it can be large, but it's equivalent in either case. So when you knew what you didn't want and now you know what you do want, so life is moving forward, now, maybe on another subject, you're more focused on the negative side of the wave than you are the positive side of the wave. So maybe you've tuned yourself negatively. Let's back up. Here will be an easier way to hear it. You can't set your radio dial on 6.30 a.m. and hear what's being broadcast on 98.7 FM. Frequencies have to match up. The transmitter and the receiver have to be in sync. So let's say that you have several subjects that you are focused upon and on one particular subject that you've wanted a lot about you now have managed for a little bit of time to focus more inside the vortex and so now things are moving along for you in a better way but because you're not really yet completely at one with maintaining your inside the vortex vibration occasionally you slip off into another vibration and when you do you now have access to the other side the not good feeling side of that wave doesn't that make sense to you a lot of times people say I'm afraid to let myself want something because I will be so disappointed if it doesn't come well what that is is that's an awareness that I want that and I don't want the opposite of it but the fact that I really, really, really want it means I really, really, really don't want the opposite of it. And frankly, I was happier when I sort of wanted it and sort of didn't want the opposite of it. When I sort of wanted it, then I could be sloppy in my thinking and it wasn't painful. But now I really want it when I'm sloppy with my thinking. It's painful. And that's what makes people say, I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop as if it has to go bad I just know it's gonna go bad it always goes bad for me and we say it depends on where you're focused the, the potential for wondrous or awful things is yours in every moment and it all depends on where you've trained yourself so now think of different people you know or different segments of society that you know and think about what their waves are like in other words there are some people that don't let themselves dream big ever because they don't want the other side of it and there are people who dream so big who are sloppy in their thinking that live really awful things isn't it remarkable how many really really famous people at what seems to be the top of their game crash and burn so badly and doesn't it make sense to you now that you understand the wave so then you say okay I sort of get this and I've decided not to be a deliberate creator after all. <laughs> I'm going to play it safer. I'm just going to want a little. And we say, we should have told you sooner, but you now know too much. <laughs> you can't go back. Life is parlaying you into fantastic things, you see. So what we're really talking about here is you got to focus. You got to focus because what's coming to you is coming in response to your allowance. And here's the thing that makes what we just said to you interesting and funny, but different than the way we were playing with it. And here's what we mean by this. You've already played your hand. 
You've already been living your life. You've already been asking and asking and asking and asking and asking and asking and asking. In other words, you've already put who you really are over here in this vortex of creation. And you really have no choice other than to get up to speed with who you are. So what you just said to us is, well, I've been letting myself get up to speed with who I am, but now I'm worried because I can't maintain it. And we say, you got to practice that. You'll crash and burn a few times, but all that'll do is make you more determined to focus until you'll reach the place where it will matter to you that you focus inside the vortex. Amen. Give us more. I don't have little desires. I have huge desires. Yes. And I, so I see them starting to happen. And yes. then I have friends and family start calling me and has that, oh, how we're so excited and can you give us an update? And I, you know, and I try to just stay away because... I can feel their well, anxiety. Here's what, but here's success. the thing. This will help you a lot. If anybody's having any anxiety, it's because they're looking for the manifestational evidence. And this is a really good idea for you to hold relative to where you're at. This is the precise piece that will soothe this for you. This vortex of creation, it's the vibrational foundation for all of the good that manifests and when you have full view of it that's when you feel utter faith because that faith is knowledge in something not yet seen and the reason you can't see it is because it's pre-manifested but there is so much that is wonderful that is pre-manifested that you can feel did you get that now for somebody outside the vortex, what they heard us just say was, you have to trust us and we've just got a different version of the fairy tale for you. And so we can understand why from outside the vortex, skepticism and cynicism and pessimism would be something that you are feeling. But if you can accept the reality of this vortex of creation, and you can realize that when your friends and family and well-wishers are coming to you, you can't give them the evidence yet, but you can give them your emotional vibrational version of it. And so what they're reaching for from you is your feeling of elation, your feeling of optimism, your feeling of knowing. Have you ever been part of something where there was a leader who knew even before there was manifestation and that leader just knew so clearly that you knew too and couldn't you ride the current of that knowing and weren't there always those naysayers who couldn't see it and couldn't feel it who were determined that it wasn't going to come to be but because someone knew and because you knew they knew then you knew a little too that's the best that you can do for those people because almost everybody is demanding that's why science and medicine moves slowly forward is because they need to see it before they believe it and that's backwards you got to believe it before you can see it you have to believe it in order to get in the vortex and you've got to get in the vortex before you can see it before you can rendezvous with the circumstances and events that are going to bring the manifestation of it about you see it's really interesting. This reality that humans claim and cling to is such an arbitrary thing. You are billions of people with billions of different perspectives of life experience, literally creating billions of different worlds and yet pretending that it's all one big world that you're all sharing equally. And it's not even close to that, you see. You are on these vibrational islands with law of attraction spinning on your individual vortices, giving you exactly what you are a vibrational match to. So the first thing that we would say to you is, if we were standing in your physical shoes, would leave them all out of the equation, well-wishers or not. Because if you need to prove to them what they need to see, then they've got you focused outside the vortex and that's why you feel a diminishment of your joy. So somehow you have to convince them that you're onto something and you know you're onto something. We know that they are well-meaning and we know that you know that they are well-meaning. We're just saying you got to do what's easiest to keep you focused in the vortex. So if someone says, how you doing? You say, tune in my frequency. <laughs> you say, well, how's it coming? Great. I feel great. What have you got to show for it? Joy. Well, what else you got to show for it? Vitality, clarity. What else you got to show for it? 
all that you're doing what do you have to show for the work that you've been doing enthusiasm life passion that all <laughs> and what they're really saying to you don't you think paying this price of joy is too great <laughs> someone might even say to you well you seem really really happy and you seem like you've got the world by the tail but I don't see any evidence of well-being in your life you say, wait everything I want is because I think in having it I will feel better and now I found a way to feel better even before it comes they say yeah that's what I'm saying it hasn't come <laughs> what a lot of people on this path say is all the things I thought I needed to manifest in order to be joyful I felt joy before they manifested but then they manifested in other words they can't not come okay thank you very much appreciate it <laughs>